the first beta of Ubuntu 12.10 is now available to download, but with a lot of new features, what should you be keeping an eye out for? We're here with a quick rundown. The highlight of this release for many will be Unity's new preview feature. With a right click in the dash, you can preview apps, music, photos, files and more. But each preview is not the same, some are tailored specifically to the content that they're previewing. Like, for example, previewing an app you don't have installed gives you an install button. Or in the case of music, the preview, which can be used on music you have as well as music you don't have, lets you listen to music directly in the dash. This beta also sees the introduction of online accounts. This is a central place where you add your IM and social accounts and then other applications can hook in and use the data. For example, adding Facebook to online accounts makes it available to Empathy, Shotwell as well as Gwibber. One stellar example of the online accounts in action is in the new photo lens. Here you're able to sift through photos on your hard drive, but also those from your friends and your own albums from online accounts such as Flickr and Facebook. As you'd expect, a load of applications have been updated to their latest and greatest versions. You'll also find two revamped indicators including new icons and features in the messaging menu. Whilst Ubuntu One fans are sure to love the new sharing features that have been added to the desktop app. It's sayonara to the simplicity of Unity 2D. Ubuntu 12.10 introduces a unified Unity for all users regardless of hardware. PCs, laptops and netbooks made within around the last five years should be up to the task of running it. But if your device is older, then you should be prepared for some slowdowns, some visual quirks or Unity not being able to run Ubuntu's default theme has also been spruced up with new style tabs, checkboxes, radio buttons, sliders and widgets. They say that first impressions count, so it's important that Ubuntu's login screen looks as good as it can. So alongside some visual finessing, you'll also find a network indicator that allows you to connect to a Wi-Fi network direct from the login screen. Finally, what release of Ubuntu could be complete without some stunning new wallpapers and Ubuntu 12.10 beta includes 11 to choose from. 